I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment here in Kearns, Texas. Hey, it's the end of November. We're getting close to the end of the year. I wanted to show you guys some of the hay equipment inventory that we're starting to get back in. It's been a weird year and been kind of hard to find exactly what you're looking for, but if you're looking to do something before the end of the year, maybe getting ready for next spring, we've got some hay equipment to consider. Uh, so we've got a couple of the 1745D Massey Ferguson balers. Been a really popular baler this year. We've sold a bunch of them. And what we're finding with these balers is, I mean, it's, it's a perfect baler for a guy that's maybe just getting started or, or, or maybe just a smaller operation. You're getting that four by five baler, but you're getting that net wrap, that twine. It's just a really easy baler to run. It's easy to learn on, makes a great tight bale though. We also have a couple of the RB balers from Massey Ferguson. If you're not familiar with the RB baler, they've been building it for a while under a couple different colors, but now it's a Massey Ferguson RB. Um, it is great for our professional producers. It, it'll do the dry hay, but it's also a silage baler and comes with a lot of the features that you expect on, a, on, on these newer heavier duty balers. It's not a light baler. We offer it in a 4x5 and a 4x6. So we have a 4160 and a 4180. Both, both of these balers are obviously going to have the hydraulic, uh, you know, pickup or the, the hydraulic pickup, but also the hydraulic drop floor, the hydraulic knife selection, touch screen monitors extremely heavy duty. It's got chain oilers, uh, lube systems. There's just a lot to love about this baler. It's super fast at baling as well. It's got a great speed of, of you know, wrapping and, and discharging the bale. So the folks that we've been, we've been putting these in the field with really are liking them. Uh, and finally, last but not least, we've got the best small square baler on the market. That's, that's not an opinion, that's a fact. We've, we've got these, that, these are the 1840 from, from uh, Massey Ferguson or Heston by Massey Ferguson. I think pretty much anybody you talk to is going to tell you the inline balers are the way to go, especially if you need that bale consistency. Maybe you're running a bundler. Uh, we've put a lot of these in the field this year going into guys who are currently running other, other colors of balers, and there's a big reason for that. It's so much more consistent. It's a, such a pretty clean bale, plus it's an inline baler, so you get a lot of advantages with that as well. So we've got two 1840s, we've got a couple 4100s, we've got a couple 1745s in addition to a lot more equipment on order. If y'all are thinking about buying a baler, you might want to think about doing it before the end of the year because there are some incentives, but we're also getting to a point where uh, prices are always changing, and so these bailers here are, are, at the, are at obviously this year's price. We don't know what next year is going to bring, so it's worth considering. Also, if you're needing something for end of the year, it's, it's worth considering a new baler. If y'all have any questions, just reach out to us at PR Equipment, PREquipmentSales.com, or check us out on YouTube uh, at PR Equipment.